The M1 Abrams was developed from the failure of the MBT-70 project to replace the obsolescent M60 tank. There are three main operational Abrams versions, the M1, M1A1, and M1A2, with each new iteration seeing improvements in armament, protection, and electronics. Extensive improvements have been implemented to the latest formerly designated M1A2 System Enhancement Package version 3 or SEPV3 and M1A2 SEPV4, respectively versions such as improved composite armor, better optics, digital systems and ammunition. The Abrams was due to be replaced by the future combat systems XM1202, but due to its cancellation, the US military has opted to continue maintaining and operating the M1 series for the foreseeable future by upgrading with improved optics, armor and firepower. Leading the third generation tank charge. The M1 Abrams is a third generation tank. Third generation tanks began appearing amongst affluent nations in the 70s and 80s, even as poorer nations continued developing second generation tanks well into the 21st century. For example, the Soviet Union, United States, and United Kingdom all had third generation tanks by the mid 80s, whereas Ukraine and Bangladesh were still pumping out second generation models during Obama's second term. Third generation tanks are known for their composite armor and their computer stabilized fire control systems, advanced firing systems that enable firing on the move with accuracy up to 2,000 meters. When the Abrams first debuted, it introduced innovative then futuristic features to tank warfare, which is why the tank is still relevant today, after four decades in the field. The Abrams is one of the only tanks in the world confirmed to use Chobham composite armor, the construction details of which remain a secret several decades after its first design. Generally speaking, Chobham armor features ceramic tiles encased within a metal framework, joined to a backing plate with multiple elastic layers. The ceramics used are extremely hard, in effect offering improved resistance against the tank-killing shaped charges known for effectively penetrating lesser armor systems. In addition to being so hard, Chobham armor is also quite brittle. The brittleness is a defensive feature, too, for when a projectile does penetrate the armor, the entrance channel is not smooth, as it would be with metal armor. Instead, the ceramic tile leaves a ragged entrance channel, which in turn causes asymmetrical pressures on the penetrating charge that typically causes the charge to fail. Chobham armor has proven wonderfully effective in the field. Few tanks with Chobham armor have ever been destroyed. Abrams has firepower. The M1 Abrams uses an M256A1 120mm Smoothberg gun, a German design courtesy of Rheinmetall AG. The M256A1 fires a variety of rounds. The primary round is the depleted uranium M829, an American-made armor-piercing, fin-stabilized, discarding Sabot, APFSDS tank round. The M829 comes in four variants. The A1 variant was nicknamed the Silver Bullet during Desert Storm, where the round proved devastating to Iraq's Soviet-made armor vehicles. The A3 variant was also effective, especially against modern ERA-outfitted tanks. In fact, the A3 round was so effective that the Russian army created new armor relict as a countermeasure. Supposedly, relict is Russia's most sophisticated tank armor ever. In addition to the 120mm main gun, the M1 Abrams also houses three machine guns with the option for a fourth. A .50 caliber and two 7.62mm M240s. When needed, a second .50 caliber can be mounted directly above the main gun. Perhaps the M1 Abrams' most brilliant feature is its fire control computer. The Abrams Fire Control Computer relies on various points of data to perform three calculations needed to successfully hit a target. Lead angle, ammunition type, and range to the target. These calculations are made using a laser rangefinder, crosswind sensor, boricide alignment data, air temperature, and barometric pressure. The computer even accounts for barrel heating, caused by either previous firing or sunlight exposure. The computer refreshes its readings every 30 seconds. The system is sophisticated, and the result is an accurate, deadly firing system. To top it all off, the Abrams is mobile. Very mobile. The Honeywell AGT-1500 multifuel gas turbine engine is capable of generating 1,500 horsepower at 10,000 revolutions per minute. 
The engine has a governor, capping speeds at 45 miles per hour. When the governor is removed, the 60-ton tank can hit 60 miles per hour. Further improvements. The Abrams tank was updated again in the 1990s as the M1A2, which included the addition of a commander's independent thermal viewer, improved weapon station and embedded diagnostics, as well as an improved fire control system. The M1A2 SEP B2 has improved microprocessors, color flat panel displays, improved memory capacity, a better soldier matching interface, and a new open operating system designed to run the common operating environment (CO) software. Also known as the M1A2C, the app version 3, SEP V3, remains the current production model of the Abrams tank that was scheduled for first unit equipped in fiscal year 2020, FY20. The improved version was meant to rectify many of the space, weight, and power issues identified during Operation Iraqi Freedom, and it has served as the foundational variant for all future incremental upgrades. In addition to having improved survivability, the Abrams M1A2 SEP V3 was developed to host any mature technology the United States Army deems operationally relevant. Improvements have so far focused on increasing the electrical power margin, vehicle health management systems, integrated counter-improvised explosive device protection, a new auxiliary power unit enabling silent watch, embedded training, and an ammunition data link. The SEP V3 has been described as the most reliable Abrams tank ever produced, minimizes the U.S. Army's logistic footprint, and leads the Army in enterprise-level connectivity to maintenance and supply systems. Introducing the M1A2 SEP4. The latest version of the Abrams will only enhance America's abilities in combat. In early 2021, General Dynamics Land Systems was granted a $25 million contract to integrate new training software and cybersecurity upgrades to the newest M1 Abrams variant. The SEP V4 variant is an enhanced model of the M1A2 SEP V3, which is also under the purview of General Dynamics Land Systems. According to the U.S. Army, the M1A2 SEP V4 will enable tank crews to identify enemy targets from farther away than ever before and will serve as the branch's most lethal Abrams tank. The Army added that the 3 gen FLIR will be an upgrade to both sites and will be common with other combat platforms. With the upgrade, the Abrams will integrate a color camera, iSafe laser rangefinder, and a cross-platform laser pointer to facilitate multi-domain battle into the commander's site. Additionally, the newest variant will feature a digital data link, able to communicate with the tank's reprogrammable XM1147 Advanced Multi-Purpose (AMP) round for the vehicle's main gun.